Hi, and welcome to another IPCO support video tutorial. Today, I'm going to be walking you through the process of downloading and installing the IPCO dashboard software. To get started, we're going to go ahead and open up a browser window and go to support.activenetwork.com forward slash IPCO. Once you get to this main page, you'll go down to featured articles. And then right under there, you'll see an option that says IPCO downloads. Go ahead and click on that. And that'll bring you to this page here. I'm going to click on IEPCO software, and then finally dashboard. All right, so down here at the very bottom of this page is what I'm really interested in, which says attachment, and then I've got a file called dashboard version 3.1.0.0. or excuse me, install dot exe. And if I click on that, that will automatically download it to my downloads folder for me. Now, if you cannot find that because you're using a different browser than I am, that's fine. You can go to your file explorer down here um, and you can locate it under downloads. So if you click on downloads, you'll see that it's listed right there. Um, I am using uh, Windows version 11, so it may look a little bit different uh, than your user interface does, but that's fine. Um, they'll all lo be located pretty much in the same area. All right, so to run this, I'm gonna go ahead and double click on it and it will get started and it's going to walk me through pretty much the entire process. So I'm going to click next and then I'm going to accept the terms of the license agreement and click next. You can read this if you want, um, but I'm going to click next for the purpose of this video. Again, you can enter a username and organization. I'll click next. Uh, the probably the more important part is that you do uh, that you don't change this. OK, and the reason being is that for the purposes of the installation, uh, finding the location of this, uh, of some of the files in here, as well as um, being able to locate it later if we're trying to support you, it's much, much easier if you just leave it uh, sort of at the default. So uh, C program files 86 IPCO supports dashboard. So I'll click next and then click install. It's going to probably come up with a uh, user account control window. Or, or prompt and just go ahead and click yes on that and then we're going to click finish once it's done so I'll click finish there and then I will close out of this and minimize this because we're going to be coming back to that so just to verify that we've got it installed we can see that there is an icon on the on the uh, on the desktop now and that says dashboard so if I double click on this it's going to open up a new window and I can see that it says the very very top dashboard version or well it just says dashboard 3.1 0.0, 0. 0.0. So that's the current version we have installed. It is an older version. Uh, so if you have this version um, or, you know, maybe you have an outdated version or something like that, um, what we're going to be doing next is updating the software. So I'm going to close out of this and I'll just put it right back over there. So the next step in the process is to go to our browser again and then back on this same page where we found the original uh, dashboard attachment, just above that, uh, on the very, very last line of the instructions, you can see this note here. It says to update to the most recent version of Dashboard, please click here. So that's what we're going to do. And then that's going to open up a new page where we've got a new attachment. And this attachment is called Dashboard 3.1.0.19.exe. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that to download. Now, if you are using Chrome, you might be tempted to just click on this uh, and run it. And I'll show you what happens if I do that. So if I do that, it just opens it up and, um, and it runs it as if you had installed it already. The problem is that, of course, it says unique tags 50,000 and we haven't scanned any tags. We haven't even connected a reader. And then if I click something like uh, reset, for example, it gives me this unhandled exception error. So that's a problem, um, and I'll show you how you can handle that. So let me go ahead and minimize this, and I'm going to go back into my File Explorer and back to my Downloads folder. So this file right here, uh, this is basically just a, this is the application itself, and it is trying to sort of find its way in the system. It's trying to uh, find certain files to call back to and if it doesn't know where those files are because it's in the wrong folder it will give you that weird unhandled exception error it will show 50,000 tags and things like that so we're gonna remedy that by right-clicking and clicking this cut option now I'm on Windows 11 so it shows a little bit differently here than it might for you uh, yours might look a little bit more like this okay so you can click cut 
And then we're going to go down to our, our Windows installation drive, which is C. And I'm going to click on that and select Program Files x86. Do make sure it's the 86 version. And then under that, we've got a folder called IPCO Sports. So I'm going to double click on that. And then Dashboard. That's the final folder we should have to click on. So now we're inside of that folder. And we've got a bunch of different files in here. But the one that's uh, sort of the most important is this one called Dashboard.exe. But before we do anything with that, we need to paste in our new file. So I'm going to right click in an empty area. So anywhere down here is fine. And I'm going to, again, choose Show More Options and Paste. It's going to ask me if I want to provide administrator permission to do this, and I say yes by hitting Continue. And you can see now it has pasted in my uh, 3.1.0.19 application file. Okay, So we've got two application files here, but we're not done yet because we only need one of these. And what we really want is this one, but not this one. So I'm going to right-click on this dashboard.exe and I'm going to click this little delete button or if you're using an older version of Windows you can go uh, to this option right here which says delete either way is fine so once we've done that we're going to need to take one more step before we're complete and that is to rename this file so it needs to be dashboard.exe and it and don't worry about uh, you know if you don't see the, the exe portion okay so let me just show you real quick what it would look like for for a lot of you guys uh, so I'll turn off these file extensions all right so it says dashboard 3.1.0.19 and what we want to do is rename that so for most of us we're going to right click and I'm gonna click show more options but for most of us it's just gonna show something like this and you'll click rename and then I'm going to highlight everything after dashboard and delete it. Okay, so now I've got just dashboard. I'll hit enter. It's going to ask me if I'm really sure that I want to make this change. I'm going to click continue. And what I should be left with is a file that just says dashboard. Or if you're like me and you like to have those file extension names on, it'll say dashboard.exe. Okay, so once you've done that, you can go ahead and close out of this folder. And what we're going to do is go back to our desktop and double click on this dashboard uh, icon again. And you'll notice that it now says dashboard 3.1.0.19. That's great. And it no longer has that 50,000 unique tags. And if I click reset, nothing happens because it's working. If I click view tags, it works. Okay. That's what we want. That's what we want to see. So hopefully this is something that you have found helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, as always, you can reach us at our support email address, which is support at ipicosports.com, and we'll be happy to help. Thanks, and have a great day.